Hello everyone. I am preparing a series of videos on the subject business law which is a part of SEM2 BBA SGPUAU curriculum and uh, in this series of videos I will be discussing some MCQs with you and in the current series I will be discussing the MCQs on Indian Contract Act. So let's start with the MCQs without wasting the time. First, law of contract is first option, not the whole law of agreement, nor the whole law of obligations. Second option, the whole law of agreements. Third option, the whole law of obligations. And fourth, none of these. So the correct answer is law of contract is neither the whole law of agreements, nor the whole law of obligations. Second question, a contract creates right in rem, right in personam, only rights, no obligations, only obligations, no rights. So, a contract creates right in rem, that is right against the whole world. Then the third is, an agreement is voidable when it is first Enforceable if certain conditions are fulfilled. Second, enforceable by law at the option of aggrieved party. Third, enforceable by both parties. And fourth, not enforceable at all. So, first, we will here we can do the elimination thing. Uh, like, um, every agreement is enforceable by both the parties. Okay. So, obviously, voidable contract ke liye wo applicable nahi hoga. So, we will eliminate the, eliminate the third option. Enforceable if certain conditions are fulfilled. So, that will be contingent contract. So, the first option is also eliminated. Then, not enforceable at all. So, again, if it is not enforceable at all, then it's not voidable contract. It is void contract. So, the answer is second one and again if you remember the definition of voidable contract so voidable contract is a contract which is enforceable at the option of aggrieved party which are the situations in which a contract is voidable so first when the consent of the parties is not free the contract is voidable second if uh, one person is willing to perform the contract and the other person doesn't allow to perform the contract in that situation the contract is voidable Third, if time is the essence of contract and the contract is not performed within time, then the contract is voidable. Okay. Then the next MCQ. An agreement not enforceable by law is said to be. First option, void. Second is voidable. Third is valid. Fourth is illegal. An agreement which is unenforceable by law is known as void agreement. So, the first option is the correct answer. Then, the next MCQ. A contract, first option, may be void as originally entered into. May become void subsequent to its formation. Third option, may, cannot become void in any circumstances. And fourth, may become void at the will of the parties. So just keep in mind, if it is a void contract, it becomes unenforceable subsequent to the formation. If it is, uh, if we say contract, then it cannot be void agreement means unenforceable from the beginning. Okay. So here it is a contract. Therefore, the first option is rejected. That first option was may be void as originally entered into it's not possible okay then the third option cannot become void in any circumstances so we have discussed in the classification video um, that uh, in which situations the contract becomes void okay a contract which subsequently due to you know, supervening impossibility uh, due to the change in the circumstances due to the change in the law it becomes void so, third option is also eliminated. Then, fourth option may become void at the will of the party. So, in that case, 
we tell it is it, it to be terminated okay by or uh, a new contract is formed or it is terminated by mutual consent of the parties so when we are saying that a contract may become void subsequent to its formation will be the correct answer then the next is the transactions collateral to an illegal agreement are the first option is not affected in any manner the second option is also tainted with illegality the third option is voidable at the option of plaintiff and fourth is void so the correct answer is it is also tainted with illegality the transactions collateral to an illegal agreements are also tainted with illegality then a contract is a legal obligation an agreement plus a legal obligation third consensus at adam fourth an agreement plus a legal object if you remember the basic two components of a valid contract or a contract are agreement plus legal obligation so the correct option will be an agreement plus legal obligation then the next uh, mcq is flaw in capacity to contract may arise from flaw in capacity to contract may arise from lack of free consent lack of consideration minority or uh, absence of legal formalities here it is related to capacity of parties so in capacity minorities will be applicable so the correct option is minority next mcq an offer is made to money or mr x in public or in a crowd now it now we come to the options it first can be accepted by him only second option may be accepted by any person who hears it or knows about it third it may be accepted by money's brother fourth may be accepted by his friends see when it is a specific offer it can be accepted only by the person to whom the offer is made okay so these are the few mcqs which we have discussed today in this video i hope they will be helpful in your preparation uh, in the preparation for your examinations kindly share this video with uh, your friends who are also preparing for this exam and stay tuned kindly press the bell icon subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you come to know about the video as soon as i upload it stay tuned happy learning thank you